Hello world, welcome back to another tutorial. Today we're gonna be talking about indexing. We're going to be indexing the vertices that we send to the GPU. Because right now we're just kind of sending a bunch of vertices to the GPU, but some of those vertices could have duplicates. And duplicates are bad in coding because we don't need to use those duplicates. Hope you like this episode. If you like it, like it, if you wanna subscribe, do that too. Uh, otherwise, let's jump into it. So currently in our engine, we have the ability to draw a quad. And a quad is represented by two separate triangles. And the way that we add these triangles is by calling a function add vertex. And in our case, we call add vertex six different times. We call it on the blue, the red, and the green vertex first. What happens is when we add three different vertices, the GPU says, you know what? You've given me three different vertices. I'm gonna create a triangle for you. Uh, the next thing we do is we just add vertex. We add a, the pink one, this aqua one, and a white one. And the GPU again says, you've given me three different vertices. I'm gonna give you another triangle. When it comes down to it, it's just a vertex array that we're creating, okay? So we have zero, vertex zero, vertex one, two, three, four, five, off on the GPU. And it takes each individual one of those triangles and draws our quad on the screen. There's a, there's a little problem, kinda just staring us right in the face, and that problem is that we are using the same position here and here. Those are using the same positions. In this case, it's negative one, negative one. The X is negative one, the Y is negative one. It's in the same exact position for both of those vertices. So really, when it comes down to it, we only have four different positions in space, but we're using six vertices to represent those four positions. So instead of using six vertices, we're going to send in four. So we're gonna have only four different vertices. We have a blue, the red, the green, and the white. And what that's gonna look like is this. So instead of the six vertexes that you saw before, we only have the four here. But the problem is the GPU doesn't know what this means because we haven't given it triangles, we've just given it positions in space. So they're just kind of floating off in space. It can connect these four vertices any way that it would like. So we need to, you know, give it some hints on how to draw triangles. Enter the indices array. What we're gonna do is we're going to send along this vertex buffer, the vertex zero, one, two, and three, and we're going to tell it which vertices to index. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna use this these indices to say, GPU, grab this vertex at this position, and this is the vertex I wanna use for this triangle. All right, let's walk through it. So we wanna start with vertex zero, right? Index zero. So we add a zero to this index array. Then we wanna jump to one. So what do we do? We add one to that array. And we wanna add two, so we add two. Why not? And the GPU's like, dude, you've given me a triangle. I'm gonna draw this triangle. So it draws a triangle, pretty cool. Um, to draw the second triangle, well, we start back at zero. So index zero. Now we need to jump to two. We need to skip one and go straight to two because that's what we need to do. And we need to then go to three. And it's like, dude, you've given me another triangle because I have three vertices in a row right now, or well, three indices. But now we have our quad. But why would we ever wanna do this? What's the reason behind indexing? Uh, just send vertices, it's fine. Well, biggest one is memory usage. So in the case that we're currently working with, we have six different vertices. Every single one of those vertices is 48 bytes. So one, one vertex is 48 bytes. And so if we do six vertices times 48 bytes, well, to store our quad, we are using 288 bytes. If we switch to indexing instead, we are only using four different vertices and six indices. So for each indice, we are using an unsigned int 32, which has a byte stride of four. So it's a lot smaller than a vertex for show, for show. Uh, and so, well, we use our four vertices times 48, that gives us 192 bytes. And we do six times four, so six indices times four bytes, and that gives us 24 bytes. So if we add those two numbers together, we get 216 bytes total for this new quad. Now I know you're thinking, that's not that much, two twos, uh, why, why, why? It doesn't matter, it's not that big of an optimization. But if we have 50,000 quads on our screen somehow, the number is going to add up. It's going to be m massive. It's important that we implement this into our system. I should have done this earlier. Oh well, let's get into it. Okay, so currently here's our scene. Here's our quad, here's our little par pirate party parrot hanging out, he's a quad. Uh, let's, instead of using our old fashioned way of drawing with you know the vertices, let's do indexing. So I'm gonna stop it. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into core types, metal types, and we need to add one more of these sizable things. And that is going to be extension uint32 sizable. 
Boom. So now we can extend UN32 with stride and size. That's all we needed to do there. I'm gonna close these up. We only need to go into one other file during this. And that file is going to be inside entities, libraries, mesh library. So here's our mesh library. As you can see, it's still gorgeous, like always. Uh, if I scroll down to the bottom here, you'll see our quad is being drawn. It's a custom mesh and it's being drawn like so. But we don't need all of these vertices like we talked about in the description. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna remove the duplicates. Well, we have a top right here, so I can remove that one. And we have a bottom left, which is right here. So these two vertices can go away, okay? I'm gonna press play and we're gonna see what happens. And yes, all we get is this one little triangle. And the reason we get this one triangle is because we're sending four vertices. The first three are correct, but then we just send it the last vertice, the, you know, top right, and it doesn't know what to do with that triangle. So let's see if we can tell it how to draw that triangle. So I'm gonna scroll up here to custom mesh because that's what we're inheriting. And this is what we're going to be editing. This is our class, we need to add some things. So I'm gonna add a couple things at the top. I'll be right back with you. Okay, so I have finished. Um, I added three different things, as you can tell by these little arrows right here. Uh, the first thing I added was indices array. So this is just an array of our indices that we want to generate an index buffer with. So I've added an index buffer. Um, and then the last thing I did was I created an index count because we're gonna need to know our index count. And that's about it. Those are the three different properties I added at the top. Now, if I scroll down a little bit, well, I can scroll down right to here. Let's go to create vertices. We're not just creating vertices anymore with this function. So I'm gonna refactor this and I'm gonna rename it to create mesh, because that makes a lot more sense, a little more ambiguous on what we're doing. We're just creating a mesh, okay? Um, I'm gonna go ahead and modify this function and I'll be right back with you. So give me a second. Okay, so uh, I made this a little bit different. Uh, so right here, you can just see with the vertex buffer, I've wrapped it with if vertex count is greater than zero because really we don't wanna generate a vertex buffer unless the vertex count is bigger than zero. This is just kind of a little check, just a sanity check. And I did the same thing with our index buffer. So right here, we are drawing our new, or creating our new index buffer. And we're creating our index buffer based on our indices array. So the bytes we're using are the indices. Uh, the length's gonna be using that uint32 stride that we just did over there in metal types. And then I'm passing an index count. Make sure you do that or else something's gonna break. And I've just kind of left it as default options. So now we're generating our index buffer. The next thing I need to do is I need to create another function underneath add vertex called add indices. So this is gonna be how we add our indices. Give me one second. Okay, so now we have the ability to add indices. I added this function that basically just takes in an indices array of uint32 and then appends that to our current indices array. So that was a pretty easy function to write. The last thing I need to do is I need to modify our draw primitives. Give me one second. Okay, so uh, I finished this function up. It's a little bit different than before. Uh, a lot of different. Um, so we have our, so this is the original call for adding the, setting the vertex buffer on the GPU. I've wrapped it with the if vertex count is greater than zero. Again, it's just a sanity check to make sure that I have vertices to apply, else I'm doing an operation that I probably shouldn't be doing. Um, and then I'm setting that vertex buffer. Now this little chunk right here, this is where everything's a little different um, because now we have indices. So if our index count is greater than zero, meaning we've added indices, onto our mesh, then I want to use this function of draw indexed primitives. So before, this is the one from before, it's exactly the same. We're doing just draw primitives. In this case, we're doing draw indexed primitives, okay? And so the parameters are pretty straightforward. The type is going to be diet triangle, just like before. Uh, the index count is going to be, you know, our index count, how many indices we have. The index type, We've already established that it's going to be unsigned int32. The index buffer, just pass in that buffer that we generated. Uh, the offset, we'll just set it to zero for now. And then instance count is just like before we were using instance count. And that's it. That's how we're drawing our primitives now. We're just using that index array by using this function. 
Okay, pretty straightforward. Um, so let's prove that this works. I'm gonna go back down to our quad custom and underneath these four different vertices, add vertexes, I'm gonna create a little code here. And I'm gonna say add indices, and I'm just gonna pass in a direct array. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do zero, one, two in our indices. And then I'll press play and we'll see what happens. Okay, uh, exactly what I thought would happen. It's a triangle because we only have zero here, one here, and two here. We're not using any other vertices. Let's go ahead and add the rest of our vertices that we need. So that was top right, top left, bottom left. Now we need top right, bottom left, bottom right. So that'll be zero, two, three. So zero, two, three. And if I press play, uh, we break because I don't have a comma and press play. There's our quad, back to normal, looking good. Let's go in, check out, pressing this little camera button down here. Let's go check out these buffers. So now we are sending in uh, an index array. So here's our indices, zero, one, two, zero, two, three. It's using those indices. And here's our buffer of vertices. So there's only four different vertices inside there that it's using. All right, thanks for watching. That was index primitives. I should have did this a long time ago, uh, but you know, I just forgot about it to be honest. Uh, hope you liked it, like, subscribe. See you guys next time.